Welcome to this task on how to use e Lucidchart to create ERDs. My name's Andy Wicks, so let's get going. Well, first of all, we're going to need a folder into which our work will go. So we click on Folder and then type in the new folder name. Now, I would suggest you use the name of the course. So I'm going to put in course name but you would type in the name of whichever course it is that you're creating this ERD for. Click on OK and that course name folder has now been created. We can now open it and as you can see the folder is empty. So now what we want is a document. So we go to the document button and it says, what kind of document do you want? What we would like is an ERD, and preferably a blank ERD. So let's click on that. It takes a moment to get all its shapes ready, but that's fine. We're not in at that much of a rush. Now, it comes up with this interesting sidebar here. Feel free to read it obviously, but I'm going to get rid of it because it's distracting for what I'm trying to do. Here I can type in the name of the ERD that I want. So in this case it's an example ERD, so I type in example ERD. And we're now on our way. I've moved it over a little. Now what we want is to create an ERD properly. Usually I'd put this into a landscape format, which you can do by clicking on the sidebar here, choosing A4, because that's what we use here, and then landscape format. So this is now in landscape format. I can hide that menu just by clicking the double arrows up the top here and away we go. So what we want to do is to add our first entity. The way we do that is by dragging the entity shape onto the ERD itself. Now I'm going to zoom in a bit so that we can see what's happening more easily. An entity has a name. So well, let's call this entity person. And as you know, ERDs have primary keys, foreign keys, etc. That's what this first column is for. I'm going to get rid of the word key and put in PK for primary key to show that it's a primary key. I shall move this over a bit. That would usually be sufficient, but if you're using Oracle, then you'd have to put some sort of identifier after that. So you'd have something like PK to show it's a primary key and then say a little p. So now we have the field names. I'm just going to delete all of this and the field types. The field types must be of the correct type for whichever DBMS you're using. So if you're using Oracle, you may have slightly different field types to if you're using, say, MySQL. I'm also going to make this a little bigger by dragging out from the edge here. And we can move the size of the bars simply by moving those little squares. So first field is going to be person ID. And ID fields are always integer, so I'm going to make that int. Okay. We're now going to have a second entity. Now, I like to have everything nice and nicely spaced, so I'm going to create this entity to be the same size as the other one. And here it is. And I'm going to call this address. So obviously I need to get rid of the, that. That's going to be primary key. Ah. If I was using the Oracle notation, that would be PKA. We 
oops, address ID and by pressing the tab key you can get it to go along one directly Int. I can now delete the others by using the tab key so now we have two entities which are linked presumably by some sort of key let's assume for the moment that an address does not have many people in it uh, I know that isn't true and we'd normally need an intersection entity but for the sake of this let's assume that person and address has one person can have many addresses so if I'm going to uh, have person linked to address what I do is I hold down and just drag across from the one to the many and obviously that then is going to be a foreign key which is going to be called person ID and that will be an integer as well because it's an ID field so now we've set up a link just by dragging if you hold the cursor over things at the edges they turn red the spots and you can just then drag from there to wherever it is you want to go and you create a link now I've created a link here that I don't want or if you have a link that you don't want and I'm going to click off it for a minute all you do is click on it and hit the delete key and that link is gone now I want to add some fields so in person I'm going to have say for name which is going to be say text and surname which is going to be varchar varchar 50 ah it looks as if that space I left for the types isn't big enough well all I need do is drag that over a bit until it is the way I want it to be okay so for address well we'll have line one of the address but what's that well that's probably varchar as well so we'll call that 100 and here as you can see it doesn't quite fit in if I move it over it just sort of fits so what I can do is just drag it out another bit more and then it all fits nicely so we've got a couple of fields added but address needs extra lines so what I'm going to do is increase the number of fields up here it says number of fields three well let's suppose that we want three lines of address I know we would probably want more so we can click on that until it goes up to five and you probably saw that the fields increased so now I can delete that just go around deleting them we can have line two varchar 100 and line three I now have the tables as I want them laid out but they're not looking particularly nice one of the things that we can do is to ensure that the shading is the way we want it to be so what we do is we click off and click on again to highlight the whole entity and we can have a shaded header and alternate rows shaded that makes it easier to read we can also change address at the moment it's a sort of medium gray but I can make that bold so that it stands out a bit more and I can change the font color from this medium gray to say black and that allows me to lay out the entities in a more readable way now when you're first creating ERDs one of the many things that you'll do is get the types of links incorrect 
supposing what we had here was this link and we suddenly realized oh gosh it needs to be the other way round the buttons up here show you what's at either end of the link but this double arrow button swaps them around so supposing it was one address to many people we could just do that and we can switch it back again but we happen to know that it's one person many addresses and one address could have many people so in reality this is a many to many relationship so what we can do is choose the one end and now come down to the symbol for the many so now we have a many to many link and this allows us to lay out our ERD in a way that works for us when you create a first version of an ERD there'll be links going all over the place part of the skill of making your ERD look usable is to be able to move these around so that it's so that it's easier to see and the way we do that is simply by dragging so supposing we wanted to have this as a nice straight link we can drag it so that the primary key in one table links up to the foreign key in the other and it looks that little bit neater well i hope you've enjoyed this trip round using lucid chart thank you for watching